October day 11, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday, but honestly, on the days that I don't like vlog and sit down and just like talk to you guys, I kind of feel like like lonely somehow. So <laughs> this morning I thought I'd just sort of, I don't know, check in before I head on out to work. Um, but um, you saw in my skincare lineup this morning, um, I came in first up with the Nivea as I have been doing. And many of you are asking me about like, um, the layering and which one's first and all of this very, very detailed questions. As far as the Japanese sunscreens, they're chemical filters, so they do need to form a film. So I do let them sit on my skin um, for, you know, a few minutes before I got kind of going on to the next layer of sunscreen. And I definitely wait a full 20 minutes before going outdoors to really allow the protective UV film of all of them to have formed. But um, as a second layer today, I came in with the um, Shiseido Sanka UV. Um, this is the their Aging Protect one. It has, this is the one that has UV quinone in it. I really like this one. I don't care for that Biore Milky Lotion one, however, and I've stopped using it simply because the fragrance just does not agree with me. But I really like this one. And then I come on top with the um, CeraVe AM, which also has sunscreen in it, but it's kind of like a moisturizer because these are like watery lotions, okay? Um, and that's the vehicle that these are in. The filters dissolve a little bit, you, you know, the filters are soluble in more watery vehicles. And so <clears throat> that's great, but they can be drying. And everybody on the internet believes that the drying property has to do with the alcohol. No, it's the fact that this is more of a watery lotion vehicle. It has more water in it. And as the water evaporates, they become a little drying, okay? And so that's why I come in with the CeraVe AM as a, as a moisturizing cream on top. And it also has more sunscreen in it, okay? And the CeraVe AM is a combination sunscreen, so it has some UVB filters in it, octinoxate and octisalate, as well as um, zinc, okay? And so the zinc will sort of precipitate out in more watery formulations, and that's why the CeraVe AM, I believe, is formulated to be a little bit more creamy, plus it's a moisturizer. Someone asked me, are you still getting the benefits of the ceramides and the niacinamide? Honestly, guys, no, there are no studies looking at, like, if you put sunscreen on first and then you put on uh, a moisturizer with sunscreen and ceramides, are you still getting the benefit of the ceramides? To be honest with you, most of the studies show that in people with dry skin, namely eczema, um, using a moisturizer, um, whether it have ceramides in it or not, using a moisturizer consistently leads to improvement. So it's kind of like, the endpoint is very difficult to objectively assess because really just merely using a moisturizer is what you need. The ceramide can, can in fact boost your body's own production of ceramide, but also using, just using moisturizer and not allowing your skin to get dried out, it helps, it helps your body focus more on, on making the, the lipid barrier, the ceramide. So they all kind of work in their favor and I don't really worry about that and I, I just hope for the best with the ingredients because at the end of the day to me the most important thing is the sunscreen and the sun protection and you have to reapply the sunscreens and you have to you know don your hat and everything like that I mean they are not this is not the only protective measure but Anyway, this morning I'm trying out a new Celestial Seasonings tea. I'm trying out the Fireside Vanilla Spice. Um, yesterday I had the Spice Cinnamon Apple that I've had before, and this is a new one that I'm trying. And I have a few drops of the um, Sweet Leaf Vanilla Cream uh, Stevia drops in here. And I tasted it prior to putting the Stevia drops in it, and it was a little weak. Um, I brewed it for the um, the amount of time that it says on the instructions, but with the stevia drops, it tastes like a, like a sugar cookie. It tastes like like a sugar cookie. So it's really nice in that regard. But I think I prefer the cinnamon and the blueberry. And have you guys had the peach one? The peach one is really good too. Okay, book wise, this book, I just 
it is so good. It's like, it's like the ultimate luxury. I feel as though, you know, I'm going through life and at the end of the day, um, all I want to do is get back and have a little bit of a carved out protected time at the end of my night to read a few pages of this. How sad is that? That adulthood has come to the point where reading a 10 page, like all I can really aff uh, afford my protected time of book, of, of actual book reading as opposed to audio multitasking reading is like, like 10 minutes at night before I doze off and oh, this book is just so good you guys I, I can't recommend it enough I just am really I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying it I honestly didn't think that this would be the type of book that I would enjoy but I really am loving it a lot you know I have been seeing people on YouTube talk about the FabFitFun box and I've kind of been intrigued <laughs> Actually, I've really been intrigued um, and I kind of wanted one too. So I went ahead and bought myself one and it came yesterday. So I thought I'd show you guys. I guess it's supposed to have like $200 worth of stuff in here and it's $50 uh, for the box. And like I said, it comes every season. So that's not, I guess, too bad of a price, but let's see what's inside of it. So here's how it comes. <laughs> it's whacking me on the head here. Oh, okay. So first up is this Mare C and Co. Always by the Sea Cozy Wrap. Oh, isn't that beautiful, you guys? It's like a, ooh, it's super soft, nubbly wool um, throw wrap. This is fantastic. It says travel well, travel often, travel light. This is 100% um, polyester. Oh, it's really pretty though. Then it also came with this Coxette Wire Heart Ceramic Jewelry Holder. Oh, this is perfect. How pretty is that? It's like a little heart. You can dangle your earrings on it. That's perfect. Oh, and then next up is this pretty hat. Look at that. It looks like um, ballet pink. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. I really like it. I haven't had a hat like this in a while. Um, how pretty. T tote bag. Oh, meet me at the bar. Speaking of ballet. It's a uh, little tote bag to store your exercise stuff in, so that's perfect. Lavender Deco Cuticle Oil. I will not be using that on my cuticles. I don't like put stuff on my cuticles because that just leads to irritant dermatitis that makes the nails brittle and uh, susceptible to breakage. I know I'm a wet blanket when it comes to stuff like this, but honestly, I wouldn't use this on my on my cuticles. It's got mineral oil, which is fine. Um, Safflower seed oil, which is fine. Argan oil, fine. Vitamin E. You can become allergic to vitamin E, vitamin C. And then fragrance. This, if anything, can be largely problematic, but it comes out like a nail polish. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, yeah, that is a nice way to use it. Ooh. Well, I really like it in that manner. Perfect. Oh, cool. Then they also sent this Renewing Mud Mask. Oh, perfect. You know I love doing mud masks with you guys. This one has the Leaping Bunny on it. It is the Wish Renewing Mud Mask with Bakuchiol. I have no idea what Bakuchiol is. Not a standard of care ingredient in anything. Oh, you guys know I won't be doing this. Matte color, shiny balm, lip crayon. No. I wish I could, I wish I could comply with this, but I know I won't. Oh, it's a two-in-one product with refillable twist on and off tools. Travel friendly for life. Looks kind of deadly. Hmm. All right. I'm not mad at that. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? And then they also sent me this, I'm a little apprehensive about this, this coconut carbon teeth whitening thing, M-O-T-R Dental Club. It's like some kind of a whitening thing with charcoal in it. You guys have to uh, comment, those of you in the uh, dental profession, is this safe to use? I'm a little apprehensive. Continental wipes, flushable wipes. These are kind of handy to have um, for outdoor things. Um, oh, and then this, I'm kind of stoked about it as well. This is a hot and cold pack. The reason I like these, for you guys with rosacea, something like this is really helpful um, to keep uh, cold in the fridge. And then when you're gonna work out or like exercise, you put this around your neck and it will help counteract the rise in temperature to your face that can flush you and flare, um, flare rosacea and make rosacea worse. So that's awesome. I bet it is good for traveling and that kind of thing. And then what is this other thing? Oh, this is the toothbrush they sent with the tooth, teeth whitening thing. So 
That's all really cool. So I'm gonna finish my tea here and I'm gonna head on out to work and I'll check in with you guys later. After the service, shaking hands with people in the smoked glass lobby, you have been touched. Well, hey guys, the uh, work day is done and I'm headed over to Starbucks because tonight I'm meeting um, a friend and um, so that'll be exciting. And, uh, but meeting's not until 8 p.m. So I'm gonna try and get some, I've got my laptop. I'm gonna try and crank out some work and uh, that is what is going on. But I'm listening to Major Pettigrew's Last Stand by Helen Simonson, audiobook update. Um, I'm listening to this on Audible, but I no longer have the Audible subscription because as you guys know, I kind of bailed on that, but I had those two credits and this was the last book that I got. I finished the NYX and that was fantastic. I reapplied um, the um, Shiseido Sanka. Here, let me just tilt y'all up. I'm going over a pothole on you. You tip down. I reapplied the Shiseido Sanka. Make sure you apply sunscreen all the way down your neck, guys, because the neck um, area is one that people often neglect in reapplication. The neck, the forehead, the back of the neck, the ears. Um, but the neck, you know, cosmetically speaking, is an area that really, really, really gets a lot of sun damage. The structure of the skin of the neck is very different from the structure of the skin on your face in that it has fewer sebaceous glands. The sebaceous glands are the oil um, producing glands. And you know, despite people, you know, I know everybody hates being oily and shiny, like on your forehead and stuff and around your nose, that's where you got a lot, of, you have a lot of sebaceous glands. That, that grease, it actually has some, uh, some protective function to it. It, it can help uh, keep the skin hydrated and uh, potentially, you know, kind of quelch a little bit of the uh, ultraviolet damage to the neck being having a lower density of those oil glands is actually, you know, an area that and just by virtue of the anatomy of your, you know, the way your head is and everything it gets more exposure. Don't neglect that. But likewise, I hear, um, you know, these blanket statements that you should, quote, not neglect your neck with your products. Um, and I disagree with that. Um, you know, you'll notice in my different tips video, I tell you guys not to put it on your neck. Many things should not be applied to the neck, a lot of acids and what have you. Because just as I said, there's a lower density of the um, sebaceous oil glands there. And the skin doesn't tolerate uh, those acids as well and it, it makes you more susceptible to um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, irritation, and uh, problems. A by acids, I mean your AHAs, your BHAs, and then anything that's going to exfoliate the skin, which different, a dapolene, a retinoid, not an acid, a retinoid, actually a retinoid, a retinoic acid derivative, I take that back, but not, not an acid in the sense of like AHA or BHA, retinoid, um, does exfoliate the skin. That and, you know, BHA being salicylic acid. So all of those things, um, you know, when you're, you've got to be careful around your neck area because there's fewer oil glands in those areas and there's less, f less area of, of targeting for those reagents to go to, if you know what I mean. A lot of them, a lot of them concentrate in the oil gland. And when they don't have those, as many oil glands to concentrate in, they become, in, they have nothing better to do but to irritate the skin. So, yeah, just a little uh, tip on, on neck care there. It applies to everybody, not just women, you know. My uh, skin care tips are uh, non-gender specific, uh, as well they should be. I wonder what Emperor's Clouds and Mist green tea is. Ooh. Oh, how cute are these little cookies? They look like little foxes. Little Starbucks. <laughs> Has anybody had the uh, maple pecan latte? 
imagining it's super sweet. All of their drinks are super sweet. This is a new thing since I've been in here. Sous vide egg bites. It's kind of odd looking. It looks like something from an Easy Bake Oven. Hey guys, I'm here in uh, Starbucks. I ended up getting a passion fruit tea. Um, it's almost a daily bolina drinking these things. It's nice, but I got them hot. It's got it hot. <laughs> Look how vivid it is. So I just put uh, one of these packets of, uh, I think this is monk fruit sweetener. I put one of those in, so I'm sipping on that. And I'm hoarding the cinnamon like a bad, uh, bad person but look how cute my little walking office is here okay this is what i keep my earbuds in it's basically like um this was a, a kit actually for children <laughs> that i got at marshall's for like a dollar okay it's an american girl um american girl company a uh, little craft kit for like girls three to four years old or something i don't know and i just whipped it together and <laughs> It's lasted forever. I mean, it's a little tattered, but whatever. And then I just have, a, I love these, uh, this is the, uh, what's this brand? Travelone, these clear totes. And I've got my Stadler pens here, and I have one of these, here, I'll just flip it over. One of these uh, moleskin little books that I keep notes in, and kind of like running to-do lists for the day. Jot down what I need to get done that day. Um, plus, I always make sure and include a few fun items that need to get done, that way my task list doesn't look so overwhelming. Then I have a post-it notepad in case I need to like give somebody a memo, but then what I want to show you guys, look how cute this is. I just purchased this on Amazon and I'm totally loving it, okay? It was like, I don't know, less than 10 bucks. I can't remember the name of the brand, but I'll link it down below. It's this cute little um, like card holder that you can put, I don't know, credit cards or whatever in it. But yeah, I got it because <laughs> look what your girl got. I got my own little business cards because, you know, sometimes when I'm talking to the black box and like drugstores and stuff, sometimes people ask me like what I'm doing and do I have a card? So I figured I'd better get one. But it essentially looks like it's my little channel logo that I designed. And then I just put skincare, wellness, lifestyle. Yeah, how cute is that? But I'm totally loving this little cheapy thing. They have it in a variety of colors too. I just got this yellow one because I thought it looked nice and went nicely with my little walking office that I keep in my bag. So yeah, totally loving that. And it's not bad quality either. And then it's also got a little pouchy doodle here. I think these would make great gifts at the holiday, like a stocking stuffer. Um, they have a black one, a blue one, really nice. Um, and uh, I really like it. I was pleased with that, so. <laughs> I'm looking at some old footage from a few weeks ago, old vlogs. How funny is that? There I am, frozen in time with a mask on. <laughs> here but I hope you all enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye